millions of people here in the United States are preparing for mass evacuations. And this is happening just weeks after Hurricane Helene took the lives of over 220 people. Right now, millions of people are being told that a Category 5 hurricane, this is Hurricane Milton, it went from a Category 3 to a Category 4 to now a Category 5 in just a matter of hours. This is causing many people to panic and people are now fleeing the state trying to get somewhere where there will not be hurricanes, there will not be excessive wind, there will not be a storm surge, nothing. So I want to break down what's going on, the news that has just come out and why so many people should be concerned. So I'll break all this down in just a moment, but all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates, and now let's begin. So this is the biggest hurricane that we have potentially seen in the past six years. The last Category 5 hurricane that hit the United States, or essentially the Florida Panhandle, was Hurricane Michael back in October of 2018. Now, I want to show you some of this stuff. Look at this. It says, Hurricane Milton Tracker. Storm strengthens into dangerous Category 5. Florida prepares for massive evacuations. It says the storm has quickly intensified as it makes its way toward Florida. Now, I'm gonna get into this in just a moment, but I wanna show you something, okay? Here's what I wanna show you. It says, Hurricane Milton explodes into a Category 5 on track to Florida Gulf Coast. Now, I don't wanna just alarm people. I wanna give you the facts. It also states that Hurricane Milton could weaken before landfall, but it could also grow. Here's what that would mean. I wanna read this to you. It says Milton is forecast to weaken a bit before making landfall, but it will also grow in size and expand its life-threatening impacts over a larger area as it does. So keep in mind, it will not be as intense, but it will be larger, okay? So the scale is going to be larger, but the intensity, it's going to be weakened. Now let's keep reading this. It says this symptom is still likely to be a large and powerful hurricane at landfall in Florida with life-threatening hazards at the coastline and well inland, according to the National Hurricane Center. It says current forecasts weaken uh, Category 5 Milton to a Category 3 storm at the time of landfall on Wednesday night. Hurricane categories only consider wind speeds, so while a weaker storm could reduce wind damage near the core of the storm, other impacts are more locked in, such as Milton will dump heavy flooding rain on the state, spreading damaging winds across Florida, create dangerous rip currents, and create potentially record-breaking storm surge, which could be worsened by its growing size. Surge could begin in Florida well before landfall as Milton's size and wind field expand while it weakens. It says Hurricane Katrina went through a similar process in 2005. It weakened from a Category 5 to a Category 3 at landfall, but that didn't alter its devastating surge. It says up to 12 feet of storm surge is possible from the Bonita Beach area up to nearly the Big Bend region, several feet of surge are possible along the rest of the state's coast. Now, here's the reason why this is such a big deal. People hear that it's a category three that was just upgraded to a category five. Now they're concerned, now they're panicked. This is why millions are preparing to leave the state, but experts are saying that we are gonna see many lives lost because of the the misinterpretation of this hurricane. When it goes from a category three up to a category five, it's more intense, you need to be worried, you need to be well aware of what's going on. But when then you hear the media come out and say that, okay, but it's going to be weakened once it makes landfall. That may be the case, but experts say it's going to increase in size. Like I just said, there will be lives lost. The, the storm surge is what's going to take most lives because people aren't going to leave. They're wanting to stay. That could be a mistake. This is why millions of people are evacuating as we speak. 
Look at this right here. It says Milton ramps up to 175 mile per hour winds. Florida coast readies for major landfall. Look at this. Here's where we're at today, okay? We are now at a category five right now, okay? It's going to start making its way up towards the Florida Panhandle. Now, I wanna show you something, okay? I wanna play this clip for you so you get an idea of what we are expecting here in the next couple of days. Look at this. That is why it is now a category five hurricane. There's nothing stopping it out there in the Gulf of Mexico. That is where we have some very warm sea surface temperatures and the atmosphere is certainly prime to allow it to continue to move through the Gulf of Mexico as a look at that chart right there. OK, so right now we are here. This is a category five. Tuesday morning, so tomorrow morning, we're expected to be at about 160 miles per hour winds. And again, that's going to be category five. Then it will slowly kind of die down. Okay, by the next morning, it'll be 145 mile per hour winds, which would be a category four. And then it'll get down by a Wednesday after or Wednesday night. It'll be a category three once it makes landfall. But again, you can see how, how this is starting to widen over here. That's the concern, but let's keep playing this. Category 5 hurricane with maximum sustained winds upwards of 160 miles per hour going into tomorrow. I do want to zoom in a little bit closer here because there's a consensus that we could potentially see this weekend into a category three hurricane before making landfall at some point across the west coast of Florida with maximum sustained winds at 125 miles per hour on Wednesday. So there you go. 125 miles per hour on Wednesday. Now, here's the reason why so many people are concerned with this. Where are people supposed to go? Where are they supposed to just travel to? Keep in mind, a lot of people are still recovering from the, the hurricane that we just saw, Hurricane Helene. Okay, people are still recovering from that. Look at this right here. It says the power of water how Helene devastated Western uh, North Carolina and left communities in ruins. Many people don't want to leave their, their homes. They want to be there. They, they don't want to just get up and go because they want to be there in case there's something they can do. But experts are telling us there's nothing you can do if this is a category five, category four, and even a potential category three, if you have a storm surge, uh, and you have 12 feet of water, there's nothing you can do. There's absolutely nothing you can do. You should just get up, go, and save your life. Now, I wanna show you this. This right here, it's a, it's a power outage um, website. You can see right here in North Carolina, there's still over 130,000 people without power, all because of the recent hurricane and storm surge. You can see right here in South Carolina, about 50,000 people. And then over here in Georgia, we got about 80,000 people, all without power. Over here in Florida, we have about 2,000 or 3,000 people without power. This is expected to increase exponentially. This is going to increase so much over the next couple of days. Now, I want to show you one other thing, because this is the concern. Mallorca says FEMA club days are coming. has no more disaster funds to give out, but the IG reports that uh, says agency is sitting on billions of dollars. It says Homeland Security Inspector General says agency has billions of untapped funds for storm relief. However, it's interesting that people are only given a $750 check from FEMA. Now, People have experienced more loss than $750. You can lose your television, you're gonna lose more than $750. You'll lose you know, car parts, more than $750. Computer, right, more than $750. So when we are seeing our administration come out and only give $750 to people that lost everything, they have no place to go, they don't have any food, they have no water, they have no shelter, right? All their belongings are gone, their job gone right? Businesses wiped out. We are potentially going to see the exact same thing in just a couple of days. Now, here's my warning to you. There's a reason why experts are telling people to evacuate, and we are expecting mass evacuations over the next couple of days. It's because it's needed. People should be prepared to get out 
and save their lives. Because experts are telling us that there will be lives lost very soon. So save yourself, save your family. And again, things that you have in Florida that may be taken by a hurricane, again, they're just stuff. It's just a belonging. As long as you have your life, your health, you should be perfectly fine. But again, we are asking for the Biden administration to do more to help people in this time of need. Stop giving money to other countries and let's keep it right here inside the United States so that we can actually survive. So that is what we know as of today. As we get more information on this hurricane, I promise I will bring you all the latest news and updates, but that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.